I'm Sean Dakin with Long McQuaid Music, and this is the Gibson J45. Uh, now, this is a really classical, uh, really classic guitar from Gibson. Uh, it's got a sloped shoulder dread style on it, so it's like that square shape you normally see, but it's a little bit of extra rounded uh, corner here. Uh, this is a guitar that's been on many recordings, been played by many artists, and today is still a very popular guitar for gigging musicians and recording artists just because it sounds great and performs live very well. Uh, and it's a great workhorse guitar. You can get a lot of use out of it and know that you can depend on it. So a couple features that make this a really great guitar. First of all, it's got a nice solid spruce top. And it's got solid mahogany back and sides. So the instrument is fully solid made. It's American made. Uh, they make these in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, and you know, they have uh, really great builders that do it. They know what they're doing there. Um, so you're gonna get a great guitar from them. Solid spruce top. It's got a really classic sound. It's got a lot of punch, a lot of clarity. It's very popular wood for uh, for tops because it's got that extra sort of volume and punch and uh, responds very well to pushing sound uh, out of a sound box. Uh, the back and sides, solid mahogany. Uh, that's a, a really popular wood as well, other than rosewood is probably the other most popular back and sides on uh, steel string instruments. I find that it's got uh, it's a little bit more even of a wood than, than rosewood can be, which is fairly poignant and it's got a lot of attack to it. Uh, mahogany has a really nice uh, really nice attack, which you can use for soloing and stuff, but it also has a very even, consistent tonality to it. So if you're playing something uh, a little bit softer and gentler, it works really well that way. Or if you're trying to cut through a mix, you get really good sort of attack from the actual uh, single note. So it's a great uh, great wood that can be used for a lot of uh, different purposes and a lot of different styles of music. Uh, Gibson's uh, use a nitrocellulose finish. And that's a finish that's a bit softer and it breathes a little bit more and vibrates a bit more. So. Um, with their instruments, uh, they're going to age a little bit uh, better, they're going to vibrate a bit more. Uh, it's a great finish for getting a great uh, tonal quality or the most tonal quality out of an instrument uh, that you can while still having a protective finish on them. So these have an LR Bags element in it. Uh, you got a little volume control right here. It's an active pickup, so it takes the battery, uh, giving you the extra signal when you're out at a gig, so the sound person isn't uh, bothering you, saying your instrument's too low in volume. This is going to give you a lot of volume, a lot of output. So under saddle pickups, it's getting this vibration right from the saddle. It's uh, one of the most popular ways to uh, amplify the sound from an acoustic instrument. It works very well. This pickup system is great for that. It's a wonderful sounding system. Preamp is just located in the back here so that you don't have a large box or hole cut inside of your instrument. So it's a simple pickup, it's a very good sounding pickup, and it's a very non-intrusive pickup that way. Uh, Grover machine heads, excellent machine heads. Uh, they can do a great job tuning, making sure that your instrument stays in tune. All around, uh, just a wonderful guitar. You probably noticed the finish here as well. It's a, a really great looking finish. This is what they call vintage sunburst. Uh, this is a very popular uh, sort of look for the Gibsons and one they've been using for a long time, but it uh, happens to be one of my favorites um, with, with a bit of burst on it, which is lovely. So, it's a great guitar. I love it. It should come down, try one out. I think you'd probably be really happy with this guitar. I'm Sean Dakin with Long McQuaid Music, and uh, this is the Gibson J45 Vintage Sunburst. Mm -hmm.